morning, everyone. My name is Mike Conroy. I'm the CEO of the Brenda Stratford Foundation, and we're very pleased to be here today uh, co-hosting this event with Avril Health. And again, as you all know, this is all around healthy living and aging in community, with community, and by community. Sounds fairly simple, but most people in this room know that that uh, sometimes, sometimes can be a bit of a challenging objective. And it's all around supporting the well-being, quality of life for seniors. From a healthcare system point of view, uh, there are a number of challenges associated with that. The healthcare system, and this is not unique in Alberta, it's across Canada, has a bit of a predisposition to placing seniors in facility-based care at a much higher rate than some exemplar countries like Scandinavian countries, Holland, etc. And that's despite the fact that we know that seniors want to stay in their home, want to stay in their community as long as possible. So what are the things that are operating against that? Again, we've got a predisposition, we place seniors in, in facilities. Uh, often when that happens, they have to relocate from their community and we haven't really taken advantage of all the community supports that are available within. So how do we do this in the context of large integrated systems in systems that aren't as coordinated and, and uh, are certainly more fragmented than they could and should be? We've got a policy framework that we need to work within, but we also have changing expectations. New seniors, certainly from a senior's health point of view, we've served uh, depression and worse era seniors, and new seniors that started the baby boom generation have very different expectations around involvement in their care, choices around care and living, uh, comfort with that information, comfort with technology. So all of those things operate to actually facilitate this if the proper opportunity is provided. The, over the last couple of years, the Brenda Stratford Foundation has looked at, largely we're a facility-based care provider, but we looked at how we can use our resources and expertise to support seniors to live in the community as long as possible. Our Dementia Friendly Communities Initiative that we did in partnership with AHS, Alberta Seniors and Housing, Alberta Health and Alberta Innovates was part of that. And we delivered a blueprint for any community to uh, provide supports to, to uh, support uh, seniors living with dementia to live in their community as long as possible. And we discovered through that process that there's amazing community capacity. If you only can be mobilized and coordinated and organized to support a common objective. So we're now embarking on another uh, initiative called the Clifton Village Vision in Forest Lawn area of Calgary, serving a population of 100,000 smaller subset of seniors. But that whole development, it's going to be a large infrastructure development over a number of years. But the whole uh, focus on that development is to support seniors to live healthy in the community as long as possible with a whole array of in-reach and outreach services technology enabled and supported by research. So we're quite excited about that. And we believe, as Avril believes, that there is a real opportunity for communities to take control of their own health, their own circumstances, marshal their resources, coordinate those, those resources locally, all with that objective to remain and stay in the community as long as possible. And so we're proposing, as is Avril Health, two very distinct initiatives within different communities, recognizing the different needs of communities and how we can move that objective forward. So we're excited about today and all the uh, expertise that's been assembled in the room. We've got policy makers, service providers, community members. So this array, a rich array of uh, talent, if you will, I think will provide very good feedback on how to move this type of uh, initiative forward. When I say this type, as I mentioned, we have two projects, but they, there could be many, many more, and we think there will be many, many more across Alberta. So with that, I look forward to the day and I'd ask uh, Marlene to talk to a few uh, points regarding today's agenda. Marlene.